this past Saturday, the North Central College softball team beat Benedictine University at Shanhauer Family Field 10 to 1. After the game, we had a chance to speak with Cardinal coach Marcy Criticos, pitcher Holly Roadruck, third baseman Katie Papa, and Benedictine shortstop Brittany Wolski. I'm just happy we came out and hit the ball well. Strike first, strike hard, and I told him not to ease up. I think we're good enough to play with any team out there if we bring our A game. You know, I thought we lost at, at Wesleyan. Those were two tough losses for us. So, I mean, I was glad to see the girls rebound today and come out strong. Today, performance was a great game. We really came out there from this get-go, the first inning, trying to get as many hits and as many runs as possible so we can really put them to them in the second game. And I think that I'm really, I'm really proud of this team is that we rally together and we stay together. And that's how we put runs on the board, and that's how we win big games. I mean, once you get one hit, you, everyone on the team gets confident. You know, they all roll off each other. Two days ago when we lost, I did really bad. And I just want to come out here today and, you know, make up for what I did two days ago. It was a little tough for us. Uh, you know, obviously North Central came out ready to hit the ball right away. And, it, you know, it took us a while to get going. And still, I think we need to focus more on going after the first pitch rather, you know, the second or third pitch. They're, they're definitely um, good competition for us. Um, but, you know, we're everyone's in there together. It's just who's coming out to play that day. Our motto is that we are an NCC family. And in the beginning of the game, our coaches said to us that we're going to play together, and we're going to come together, and we're going to win together. So obviously, we got to finish up our conference games, do well in the conference, win the conference tournament, and move on from there. I don't like to lose on our home field, so I said we want to take two today. I just want to keep winning, guys. Keep winning. Junior Kara Reed is among the team leaders in hits, home runs, and runs batted in. Kara, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, in game two versus Benedictine, you had quite a breakout performance there. Three for three at the plate, two runs, three RBIs, and two home runs. What was kind of clicking for you in that game? Well, the first game definitely wasn't clicking, so I knew that I had to do something for the next game, which was good in the first game just because everyone else was hitting well, but it's always hard when everyone else is hitting well and they're all up and you're not hitting well, so I just kind of had to focus, clear my head, and just go into the next game hitting and, the ball hard. And those hits came in, in key opportune times. I mean, I believe you guys were down maybe by four runs the Benedictine in that second game? Right. We were down, I think, five to nothing. They got five runs in that first inning, which is always good because I try to do my best to lead by example and start a spark. So usually after something like that happens, the same thing happened in Lake Forest. So we just try to keep get things going and be that spark that gets the team going. Yeah, that spark was lit and you guys got the W. Your top seven hitters have a 333 or better batting average with at least 42 at bats. Just talk about the offense in your junior year. Is this maybe the best offense that you've seen at North Central? I think this is by far the best offense that we've seen because I was just talking with a couple of players the other day and we really feel that one through nine that anyone can make an impact at any time. So you're always confident who's ever up to bat and it's actually pretty nice in the last few games, people from the bench have been coming in and executing as well. So that's good that you know that anyone really from the team can come in and make an impact. What kind of confidence does that give the players, especially if you're down five to nothing in the first inning? I think it gives us a ton of confidence because we knew right when we came back into the huddle off defense and I mean, we're pretty relaxed just being saying, well, we have to work now and just getting through that game and knowing that you have that much time to make up and that we'll get it done. Talk about the sweep at uh, Illinois Wesleyan. What, what, what did you feel about the team's kind of emotions afterwards? Uh, that was definitely a difficult day. I think that first game we hung in there a lot, but as Coach K said, uh, we didn't execute our bunts. And you never know how that can change a game by advancing a runner, and then maybe they have a bad throw or something. So didn't execute in that game, and I think it was hard after that game to try to rally in the second game, but then it just showed us a lot saying that, okay, well now we have to or we have to concentrate on the tournament and just try to go from there. Absolutely. Sophomore Laura Whitfield is the heart of the defense. The shortstop leads the team with 89 assists. Laura, let's talk about that right there. 89 assists, 50 putouts on the season, only 16 errors. Um, shortstop, that's, this is a key position. You usually got your most athletic baseball player that, or softball player there. Um, talk about that position and how you approach it. Well, I've definitely been getting a lot of action this year and uh, getting a lot of opportunities to make the plays. It's just go in there, hope you get the ball, and make the play. So just going in there with positive attitude. How does that affect you at the plate? Um, again, the same, against St. Mary's in game one, you were three for three, three runs, three RBIs, three home runs. But did, does playing the field ever, do you ever take that to the, to the plate as well? 
Not really. It's kind of separate in a way. You go out there just kind of hoping to do well, make the plays, and then when you're at the plate, you just know you have to get on base or hit in runs and do what you can and got to leave it there. Now, you, sometimes you bat third in the order, sometimes you bat fourth in the order. Does it really matter to you or does it change your approach on how you, uh, you face a pitcher? Not really. It's the same for both ways. Either way, I want to hit the ball hard, find a hole, and get on base because I know that my teammates will bring me in. Well, the Cardinals, they won 10-1 to on Saturday, and here's some of the plays of the week. All right, guys, right here, this is, this is that nice catch by Mary Karen. That's the top of the second inning. See that line drive? She kind of had to go down by her ankles to catch that. Holly Roadruck, she had a nice day pitching, giving up one run on five hits. And then Laura Whitfield. Laura, this is you at shortstop. This is going to close out the game. It's another solid play and a gun to first base. Coach, talk about Laura in the defense. Is she kind of the one that starts everything? You know, I think this year we've struggled a bit defensively, but in the last, um, I'd say almost two weeks, it's been slowly but surely getting better. And without a doubt, short and second, both Laura and Kara, they're going to get quite a few balls. Um, Katie Papa has also had quite a few over a third, and the infield is crucial uh, to the defense. Kara, you're, you're second base. She's a shortstop. You guys in the middle of the field. They have a pretty good, good relationship. I think uh, Laura and I have a great relationship. She actually kind of has a hearing problem. So at times I'm like screaming things and the base runners are laughing. And I even talk to them. I'll be like, well, she has a hearing problem. And that's why I have to scream. And, so, Laura, and Laura, you have a uh, nickname, MASH. Where'd that come from? I love the television show MASH. It's by far my favorite. So. One day at practice, I was going to meet Alan Alda for a book signing, and I just kind of stuck after that. And you guys are, are quick to use it? Oh, all the time. I was really nervous about this interview, calling her Laura, because I don't, I don't think I've used that in a year and a half. Kara, you played uh, softball in high school over at Nequa Valley. Right. How do you feel the, uh, the high school scene is around here in, in softball? Uh, I think it's getting a lot better, um, continuing to pro progress. I mean, there are a ton of players that are going to big schools now. And I was happy for my experience at Nequa because you did get to face a lot of the good teams like Lake Park and face some of the tough pitchers that I think really helped me adjust to the college experience. Laura, you're a sophomore. What's it been like uh, in these two years playing under Coach uh, Klawiak? It's been a lot of fun. I've definitely learned a lot. I came into the program not knowing as much about the game as I do now. He's definitely talking a lot about the uh, mental side of the game and strategy and not just going up there and making plays, I guess, just Coach, going beyond that. In, in your years of experience, uh, the, the losing the two games to Illinois Wesleyan, do you feel like the way it happened this year and the way the team has responded is going to be good heading, heading into the tournament? Well, I hope so. You just never know how it's going to turn out. I think if you ask them, um, they would agree with me that we certainly would like to have those games back, but there's nothing we can do about it now. Um, we'll just have to wait to see how things develop, and there's a good chance that we may meet again in the tournament. We'd like to thank Kara, Laura, and Coach Kulawiak for joining us, and stay tuned for Tusha's Time Out. We'll be right back.